have been certain fighters who left the UFC to seek other opportunities outside of the promotion where they were able to showcase their skills to achieve big things in their careers. So for this video, I will be talking about the 10 fighters who were successful after leaving the UFC. Number 10. Sean O'Connell Sean O'Connell made weigh-ins memorable whilst his time in the UFC, where he would pull off many funny moments. As far as his UFC career is concerned, he had a rough time hanging with the top light heavyweights at that time. He would amass a 2-5 and five UFC record, and his last fight with the company was a TKO loss to Corey Anderson at UFC Final 102 before getting released from the promotion. He would next sign with Professional Fighters League in 2018, where in his debut he would KO Ronnie Marks, and would next lose to Bazijit Atajev by TKO. In October of 2018, he would enter the PFL Light Heavyweight Tournament where the winner would win $1 million and would win the World Championship. Sean O'Connell would defeat Dan Spawn by a majority decision and next defeated Samilia Rama by KO in the first round. He would next face Vinny Magalhaes in the finals where he would win the fight by TKO corner stoppage to become the new PFL Light Heavyweight Champion of the World. Sean O'Connell has come a long way where he has shown that he was very successful outside of the UFC. He was able to win the championship of the promotion and the $1 million prize. Rise. Number 9. Matt Riddle Matt Riddle entered the UFC after competing on The Ultimate Fighter Season 7. He would fight in the UFC's welterweight division, where he would compile a UFC record of 7 wins, 3 losses and 2 no contests. His fighting style was mainly wrestling heavy, where he would take his opponents down and outgrapple them. After defeating Shay Mills by a split decision at UFC on Fuel TV 7, he would fail the drug test for marijuana and would be released from the promotion. He would defeat Michael Kirpo by a guillotine choke at Titan Fighting Championship 27 and then set his eyes on professional wrestling. He would train and compete on smaller shows from 2014 to 2018 before signing with the WWE. He now competes on the NXT shows where he won the tag team championships with Pete Dunne. Matt Riddle has done very well for himself since leaving the UFC as he has signed with the biggest professional wrestling promotion in America. Number 8. Brendan Sharp Brendan Sharp entered the UFC after competing on The Ultimate Fighter Season 10. He fought in the UFC's heavyweight division where he was able to gain some victories over some top names at that time. These included Gabriel Gonzaga, Mirko Krokop and Matt Mitrione. He was a well-rounded mixed martial artist and done the best he could against the best fighters at that time. He had decent power in his hands and had a decent grappling ability. He was able to KO Mirko Krokop at UFC 128 and submitted Matt Mitrione at UFC 165. After losing to both on Andrei at UFC 174 and to Travis Brown at UFC 181, he would announce his retirement from the sport on the Joe Rogan Experience. He now hosts a number of different podcasts and shows. He has even tried stand-up comedy and seems to be doing very well for himself. After his fighting career in the UFC, he has found success in other areas and has made a career out of the things he enjoys the most. Number 7. Brandon Vera Brandon Vera had spent majority of his young career in the UFC where he was able to showcase his striking ability quite effectively. He was able to display dominance early on but as he faced stiffer competition, he struggled to pick up wins. He would go back and forth from the heavyweight division to the light heavyweight division and put together a UFC record of 8-7 and seven, with his last fight being a loss to Ben Rothwell by TKO before getting cut from the UFC roster. In 2014, he would sign with 1FC where in his debut he would finish Igor Sabura by TKO. He he would next face Paul Cheng for the vacant one fighting championship belt where he would go on to win the fight by KO in just 26 seconds becoming the champion of the promotion. He would next defend his title to Hideki Sakin by TKO and next defeated Mauro Sorelli by KO. Brandon Vera has improved his skills to a whole new level where his improved fighting skills have benefited him greatly outside of the UFC. Number 6. Phil Davis Phil Davis had been a top contender in the UFC's light heavyweight division for many years, where he utilised his great wrestling skills to dominate top light heavyweights at that time. His wins included Alexander Gustafsson, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira, Lioro Machida and Glover Teixeira. After fighting out his UFC contract, he signed a multi-fight deal with Bellator MMA and entered the Bellator Grand Prix semi-finals. He would defeat both Emmanuel Newton and Francis Carmon to become the World Grand Prix winner. He would next defeat Mohamed Lawal by a unanimous decision in a title eliminate about. And next faced then champion Liam McGarry at Bellator 163 where he would dominate all five rounds to become the new Bellator light heavyweight champion of the world. Even though he would lose the title to Ryan Bader at Bellator 180, Phil Davis has proved that he is a world class talent and has the skills to hang with the best fighters in the world. 
Number 5. Rory McDonald Rory McDonald has been a top welterweight for many years whilst his time in the UFC, where he utilised his strengths to pick up some big wins over some talented fighters. These include Nate Diaz, BJ Penn, Jake Ellenberger, Damien Meyer and Tyron Woodley. He would have the ability to nullify his opponent's strengths and implement his game plan. After losing to both Robbie Lawler at UFC 189 and Stephen Thompson at UFC Final 89, Rory McDonald had fought out his UFC contract and signed a multi-fight deal with Bellator MMA. In his debut he would submit Paul Daly by a rainy kid choke at Bellator 179 and next dethrone then champion Douglas Lima at Bellator 192 to become the new Bellator welterweight champion of the world. Rory McDonald has improved leaps and bounds since leaving the UFC where his success has shown that he's definitely one of the best fighters in the world. Number 4. Gegard Mousasi Gegard Mousasi has fought in the biggest MMA promotions across the world where he has been able to defeat top talented fighters as well as win many belts along his way. When Strikeforce merged with the UFC, Gegard Mousasi would showcase his great well rounded skills in the UFC's octagon where he was able to pick up some key wins over some top names at that time. These included Dan Henderson, Thiago Santos, Vitor Belfort, Uriah Hall and former UFC middleweight champion Chris Weidman. When his UFC contract came to an end, he would sign a multi-fight deal with Bellator and MMA, where in his debut he would defeat former champion Alexander Shilmenko by a unanimous decision at Bellator 185. He would next face then champion Rafael Carvalho at Bellator 200, where in the fight, Gegard Mousasi would immediately use his grappling skills and take the fight to the ground, where he unleashed a devastating ground and pound to get the TKO finish. Gegard Mousasi had now become the Bellator middleweight champion of the world. Gegard Mousasi has become a well-known name in MMA and is certainly a world-class talent in the sport. Number 3. Demetrius Johnson Demetrius Johnson had been the king of the UFC's flyweight division for many years, We had just cleared out the contenders in the weight class. He had racked up 11 consecutive title defences and was one of the most dominant champions at that time. In his 12th title defence, he was set to face Henry Cejudo for the second time at UFC 227. In their first encounter, Demetrius Johnson had finished Henry Cejudo by TKO in the first round at UFC 197. At UFC 227, Demetrius Johnson would have his winning streak come to an end, where he would lose a very close fight by a split decision. He would next get traded to 1FC for Ben Askren and would enter the one flyweight Grand Prix. He would make his debut against Yuya Wakamatsu and would win the fight by a guillotine choke in the second round. He would next defeat Tatsumitsu Wada and next defeated Danny Kingard by a unanimous decision in the finals, becoming the one Grand Prix champion. Even after leaving the UFC, Demetrius Johnson has shown his dominance where he continues to show he is one of the best fighters in the world. Number 2. Ronda Rousey Ronda Rousey had took the UFC by storm with her quick submission victories and just with their dominance inside of the octagon. She would use her world class judo skills and picked up some big wins over some top UFC talent. These included Liz Carmouche, Misha Tate, Sarah McMahon, Alexis Davis and Bech Koheya. She had just made easy work for her competition and looked unbeatable but her invincibility would come to an end when she would get knocked out by Holly Holm at UFC 193 and would next get finished by TKO to Amanda Nunes at UFC 206. With two devastating losses in a row, she would leave the sport of MMA. She would next make the move to professional wrestling in 2018 and made her WWE debut at WrestleMania 34 where she would win by an armbar. She would defeat Alexa Bliss to win the WWE Raw Women's Championship. Ronda Rousey has done very well for herself since leaving the UFC and has blended well in the world of professional wrestling. Number 1. Ryan Bader Ryan Bader had always been a top tier light heavyweight whilst his time in the UFC. He would use his well-rounded skills to gain victories over top UFC talent. This included Quinton Rampage Jackson, Ovin St. Pru, Phil Davis and Rashad Evans. After fighting out his UFC contract, he signed with Bellator MMA and was given an immediate title shot at then champion Phil Davis where he would go on to win the fight by a split decision. He had now become the Bellator light heavyweight champion of the world. He would next defend his title against Linton Vassell and enter the Bellator heavyweight Grand Prix tournament, where the winner would be crowned as the heavyweight champion of the world. He would defeat Mohamed Lowal and next defeat Matt Mitrione, where he would KO Fedor Emelianenko to become the new Bellator heavyweight champion of the world. He would now hold two titles simultaneously, which had never been done in the history of the organization. Ryan Bader has come a long way since leaving the UFC, where right now he's one of the most dominant forces in Bellator MMA. Honorable Mentions Mirko Krokop in 2015, Mirko Krokop made his return to the UFC and was set to face Gabriel Gonzaga in a rematch at UFC Final 64. In their first encounter, Gabriel Gonzaga brutally knocked out Mirko Krokop by a head kick at UFC 70. In the rematch, Mirko Krokop would finish Gabriel Gonzaga by TKO in the third round. He would next announce his retirement and surprisingly made a comeback in 2016 at Rising Fighting Federation where he would win the Open Weight Grand Prix tournament. In 2019, he would sign with Bellator MMA and would avenge his loss to Roy 
Nelson at Bellator 216 winning the Faba unanimous decision. Mirko Krokop showed that he can gain major success outside of the UFC, where his improved fighting skills have benefited him greatly. Artem Lobov After putting together a UFC record of 2-5, and five, Artem Lobov moved on from the world of MMA and set his eyes on bare-knuckle boxing where he truly utilised his striking ability. At bare-knuckle FC5, he was set to face former UFC fighter Jason Knight in a 5-round bout. Both fighters were put on a great show where the unanimous decision was given to Artem Lobov, who would next face former professional boxer Pauli Malanaji, where after a very tactical fight, the unanimous decision was given to Artem Lobov. Even though he would lose to Jason Knight in the rematch, Artem Lobov showed that he is able to use his name value and have success outside of the MMA world, where he is definitely one of the must-see fighters in the combat world. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when we post videos. So that was my video of the 10 fighters who were successful after leaving the UFC. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the section below. Also check out my last list video where I talk about the 10 unbeatable fighters in the UFC and my other video where I talk about the 10 UFC fighters who have conquered giants. Please do let me know what improvements I can make and also if you have any other ideas for lists in the comment section below. I appreciate your support as always and I'll catch you guys next time.